Down the ground, first boundary. Hitting into the wind, but it doesn't matter. Finds the gap, finds the boundary. Exceptional start from Mears. Great start for the West Indies, 14 without loss. That's another healthy and positive strike from Mears. Stand and deliver. Wicket. Wonderful reply from Ashdeep Singh. Aggression from the batter previously. Aggression from the bowler now. A change in pace, cross-seam delivery, a little extra bounce. 135 plus clicks. And he was looking to play that ramp. Down the ground, wonderful strike from Brandon King. Just a little advancement, gets to the pitch and deposits it. Glorious from Shea Hope. Not the easy of, easiest of strokes to play, but he's so elegant when he does. Finds the gap and will find the boundary. This is where he's so good. Shea Hope with that inside out, offside play. Short with the wind, gets the boundary. A good way to end the over for the West Indies. Six from Shea Hope. Five gone, 48 for one. All the way for six from Brandon King, which brings up the West Indies 50. It's that sort of ground batting first, highest scoring facility. Got him. Brilliant catch, Ash deep again. Is pace the way to go early? Ash deep back over the wicket after he was deposited for that six. This one wide of all stump, but it's an excellent take by Kudit Yadav diving away to his left. Gotcha. Straight away, straight away, he gets Puran again. Continues to get the upper hand of Nicholas Puran. Just the first delivery he's bowled at him. First delivery into his spell. And Puran immediately decides to take on that long on fielder. That's it. Yeah. Top class, top class from Kuldi Yadav again. Spin to Rodman Powell. And because Shimron Hetmeyer is not in form, they've gone with the informed captain. And unfortunately, he's unable to pick the delivery. Nice straight hit from Shea Hope. Very good, very good again from Shea Hope. Replacing Johnson Charles in the 11 today. Shimron Hetmeyer has had quite the tonic he drinks. It's a positive start. Four. Shimron Hetmeyer welcomes the Indian captain into the attack with utter disdain. First six for him. Very good batting. Fielders inside the circle. Hetmeyer helps himself to back-to-back -back boundaries. Chehope goes big and falls short. It's an excellent innings up and until that point. Praising Chehope about his ability to hit straight and hit offside and not against the turn. Bat blade just turning too sharply on that occasion. Maybe he felt the wind factor was strong enough. Shepard goes big, and Shepard gets six. I was just about to say that this is the over that the West Indies should target. This could be Axel Patel's revenge. Fielders are going to collide. Samson makes sure it's his own, though. Again, there was some length on that delivery, maybe. 
a slowing of the pace, hint of uh, extra turn. Knocked him over, off the pad, onto the stumps, Lucas Kuma. Particularly at the back end of the innings, but onto pad, onto stumps. Lots of ricochets going on there. Hetmeyer does well. He anticipated the whiff and the delivery too. And that is gone all the way. Top class. Oh, to hit that with that type of power over extra cover for six. Hetmeyer getting some way back to good touch. It's a welcome return to form for Shimron Hetmeyer. And the West Indies needed this today. His fifth half century in this format. Oh, let it through. Yashas Vijayswal got a hand on it and will feel that he should have stopped it. Mukesh is not pleased. With the win, and that'll clear the boundary easily. That's the area that Hetmeyer's targeting and where you don't want as a bowler for him to hit it with the win. Tilak says, yes, I've got it. Ball is now in the palm of the hands, fingers are beneath. I'm satisfied. Hardik Pandya just stood, he did not move at mid off. That's a good shot from Akil Hussain. Well, no need to run because he's hit that all the way for six, right in the slot. And only flexing his muscle here in Florida. First ball off the chase. Starts with a boundary. A bit of width offered. And he starts aggressively. So that answers a few questions immediately. Smashed. This is what Jaiswal can do. And this is the reason why he's making an appearance at the international level. Expensive start, 10 without loss. Played away through the offside, gets himself a boundary. One Rajasthan Royal to another. Welcome to the bowling lineup. In the air, but in the gap. Magnificent strike from Jaiswal. And they're jubilant. Three boundaries in the over. That was the best of the lot. Really elegant. And sublime from Jaiswal, 28 without loss. Yeah, that's a shot. He's so good at that shot. It's not a full-blooded pull. It's a short-arm jab that he plays with a plump. Just pure elegance from Jaiswal. Down the trap. And the ease at which he plays this shot is something to behold. And that's the 50 up for India. Magnificent partnership. A wonderful strike again from Yashasvi Jaiswal. He's picked the slow ball. He's got height. He's got distance. Very good from Gill. Picked up from Gil, fielder just over him. Second six of the over. Offside. And yet another boundary for Gil. It's a powerful way to finish the power play. 16 off the over, India on the chart, 66 without loss. Help yourself, Shubman. Thank you very much.
Watch him, Sheppy. Been running well, Uldas and Gabo, and that's a good shot. And Gil and Jaiswal going along seamlessly here, 84 without loss. Jaiswal slashes and slashes hard, gets it over the infield. That's four more. Half century for Shubman Gill. Again, his prowess through that offside. In that backward point region, such good timing. Good work from Hitmeyer in the deep. Last time he got past 50, Shubman Gill. He scored a century. Walks across, gets the gap. Half century for Shubman Gill. Only his second T20I. Jaiswal, this man is certainly one for the future. Reverse. He goes all the way for six. He can't close the over off. Jaiswal is in a dominant mood. 12 gone, 123 without loss. Picked up. Expensive start, so the carnage continues here at Broad County. That's massive. From the time it left the bat, it was always going to be six. A wonderful way to end, just like they started the over with a six. 13 gone, 138 without loss. Edged away. Fortuitous from Jaiswal, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, you just have to feel for Oben McCoy. And on course to win here. Another massive strike. Another six from Jaiswal. This guy is on fire. 150 comes up. 151 without loss after 14. of authority and class from Shubman Gill again five sixes so far taken safely Shea Hope what a wonderful partnership that has come to an end. Four closer, four more runs closer to a series leveling win. Nine to get, 170 for one. Will it go all the way? It does go all the way. So these fans who have come in here are seeing the continued fight back and resurgence of their representative team. Will throw for one. And a wide signal as well. So that will be it as the ball dribbles down towards the boundary. And India have drawn level after the West Indies took the first two games. Hardik Pandya and his men have showed great resolve, great skill, commitment and character to win here by nine wickets. And Yashasvi Jaiswal, the win, the win has come on the back of a 21-year-old Jaiswal, a 23-year-old Gill, and the finishing touches by a 20-year-old Tilak Vama. 20-somethings doing it with the bat. And Ashdeep Singh and Kuldeep Yadav's bowling worked in the field. Compliments to the ground staff as well for putting up a good surface. And it's the first time that a score of this magnitude here in Florida in a T20 international has been successfully chased by a whopping, whopping nine wickets. Well played, Yashasdeep.